Hello everyone. Yes, welcome uh, all of our Facebook followers and other people who are going to be watching this video later. So Jennifer wanted to say hi. Usually I never let yeah, you say hi. Yeah, just totally cuts me off. Anyway, I'm excited about today and about the next 14 days because we're going to be talking about passive income. So the next 14 days is 14 days of passive income. And that's something that we use a lot in our business to help uh, other people um, gain freedom and um, just really obtain their dreams. Yes, and work with what you've got. So my shirt is all bundled up, but anyway. Nobody's looking at your shirt. Yeah, don't look at my shirt. <laughs> Now anyway, that you said no, don't look at your shirt. Yeah, don't look at it. So we're gonna have some wine, of course. It's a bit mm -hmm. a little bit early, but it's okay. It's just a little bit before dinner, it's not so bad. It's COVID dinner. <laughs> so we're talking about passive income because one, it's something that we use a lot in our business to help other people and to help grow our business. Yes. And secondly, um, most Canadians don't have any retirement funds. 91% of Canadians will not have any money to retire on. So. so I think that it's really important and I think that nowadays life is expensive and I think that it's important to have other streams of income than just your 9 to 5 because um, you can only do so much. There's only so many hours in a day and I don't know about you guys but I can only work so many hours. <laughs> that's it. So that's why you need multiple streams of income and uh, actually experts say up to 10 so how many are we at now <laughs> i don't know but it's not 10 that's for sure we're not at 10 yet <laughs> <laughs> so one of them is like rental income so we talk a lot about real estate investing in real estate so yeah that's that's awesome that's great yes except i really like a, the government really does consider rental income properties to be passive, passive. income, but it is anything from passive because yeah. you really are working at it a lot so that I don't really consider passive income. No. And we won't be mentioning that in the next 14 days because like I said, I think it's active income because you're really hustling your butt off. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more of a tax thing. Just they call it passive so they can charge more. But anyway, <laughs> but I, like our accountant says, if you pay more income tax, you should be happy because that means you're making more money. So there you go. We should yeah. be really happy. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're blessed that you have enough that you can give more. So. Yeah, so for people who are watching, what is passive income? Yes, true passive income. So like we've mentioned, yes, real estate, it's sort Consider, of passive. Yeah. Like sometimes it's good, yeah, but also you can have some real, real passive income. So, uh, and something we want to tie in with this is why. Why would you want passive income? So like we've mentioned, uh, retirement, yes. Uh, job security, so I'm sure a lot of people can speak to this right now. It's these are kind of uncertain times So job security is It's a lot harder to come across. I know um, a lot of government jobs are more secure But it's not like that everywhere mm -hmm. in the private sector. It's been up and down up and down And having the freedom if you want to change jobs if you want to change careers always knowing that you have some passive income coming in that can kind of keep you afloat or that you're putting towards a dream or a goal. Yes. So true passive income is income you earn while you sleep. So the very wealthy, that's what they do. They, they, get, they earn money when they do nothing. So how can you achieve that? That sounds a bit elusive. And that's what we want to discuss. Sounds pretty lofty. <laughs> yeah, it sounds quite lofty. When I have a beauty nap, so I have to maintain we don't do these that very cheeks. Nice. No. Do you don't do that very often, I mean. <laughs> but we should, uh, and we should be earning money when we're sleeping. So that's what we want to teach you, how, how we're earning money while we sleep. And we're also going to learn through this. So a lot of these actually on my list, I'm really excited. Uh, some of them I'm actually learning right now and we'll start applying. So we'll be able to share with you how it's going. Obviously not in the 14 days, but afterwards we'll have to give you updates on how that's going. Yes, absolutely. So, do we want to give some examples of passive income? Write an ebook. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's lots of examples, and we're going to be going over them over the next 14 days. Yes. Um, but I think that it's really just important to touch on what it is. So yeah. it really is just um, something in which you put little or or no effort or work at the beginning. Very, very beginning, and then afterwards you have a steady income stream coming from. Uh, that money or effort or work. So like a, like a building a class or a mentoring program that's pre-recorded. 
Uh, so yes, you do, you do put in some effort there. Like you have to think about your plan. How do you, how are you going to teach it, deliver it? There is some effort. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one example. But there's several levels of passive income. So there are some that require little to no work or effort. And then you get passive income afterwards. Or there are some, like you said, the, the master class or yeah. writing a ebook or whatever it is that requires some work. Yes. And then the work kind of ends and... <laughs> And then the income comes in. Yeah, so it's like fruit of your work. <laughs> kind of like front loaded. So you put in all the effort and then you reap the harvest. So mm -hmm. it's really cool. Um, you can lend your line of credit or uh, become a private lender. That's really passive income. Yes. Because what you, you meet. So by, that's an example that's more passive than the other where yeah. you actually do do some work. And you lend money that you don't actually have. That's the best part. So the whole OPM, other people's money. Well, you're actually lending other mm -hmm. people's money and you're making money off of it, so it's crazy. Well, there's a million and one, one things that can be done. Yeah. But I think that that's what, one of the things that we'll be touching on over the next 14 days, and I'm very excited about it um, because, like we said, we use uh, passive income to build our business. It's yeah. uh, something that we uh, work with daily. We work with all kinds of people who have all kinds of dreams, whether it's retiring early or if they want to get that one big ticket item or maybe uh, go on a vacation when, when they can after COVID is over in 2040. No. <laughs> <laughs> 2040, wow, that's positive. <laughs> no, or save for their kids or grandkids or whatever it is. Everybody has their reason, their why. Um, or maybe it's just they want to make sure that they have enough money uh, they don't want to have to worry about it. When you go to the grocery store, you don't look at the prices. You just buy. Put things you back want. in the. <laughs> <laughs> We've done that before when we were oh, man. younger, starting out. You're like, oh my goodness, I almost need a calculator to make sure I don't go over my budget when I'm yeah. doing the groceries. They actually had those for a little while. Though. In the handle, they had a little calculator. Oh, I remember that. Yes. yes. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, just to say that there's many reasons why I think that people should want to have passive income and could have passive income. Yeah, and multiple streams of income. So we're really excited to start on this journey. Mm -hmm. uh, stay tuned every day. We're gonna come on live. Um, not sure what time, it depends on Jennifer's schedule. She needs yeah, more passive so. income. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, and also over these next 14 days, if, if anyone has questions about passive income or they wanna learn more about one of the topics that we talk about, don't be afraid to reach out to us. Yeah, send us a message. Send us a message. We'll be more than happy to happy. I'm mixing da, 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 happy, da, da, da. happy and helping. <laughs> <laughs> happy to help. Um, just give you information about whatever you're trying to, to find out. And there's tons of information as well on, on the web. Yeah, yeah. But good information is hard to come across. Yeah. Like, I did a lot of research on the passive income. I'm like, oh, God, my goodness, the ebook thing. Start selling things, open an Amazon shop. I'm like, no, nah, that's not so passive. So I found some truly passive income mm -hmm. sources and um, then some are less passive, but sometimes it's fun. Like I'm really enjoying now, I'm doing a little bit of coaching and okay. a few different things. That's not passive, it's semi-active, but it's still fun. And like this marketing here, uh, that's fun and semi-passive. We're enjoying a glass of wine. And yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. we get to try new wines all the time. and. Wine and Real Estate, uh, our podcast, so monetizing that as well. That's kind of passive income. We're already doing it. Yes. And then we're earning some income through something we were doing anyway. So mm -hmm. that's sort of passive in a way. So yeah. yeah. So I exactly. think that's it for tonight. Great. Well, this so. is not even evening, but. <laughs> no. So it's Thursday. Enjoy a glass of wine. And, yes. Uh, Sit back, relax. If you guys want to listen to us for the next 14 days talking about passive income and how it may be able to help you, your family, somebody you know. Yeah, so think mm -hmm. about your why. What do you want to do? Uh, why are you, like you're short on money? What's going on? Uh, we're going to teach you ways to help uh, with that. And of course, do your due diligence, do your research. We're not accountants, we're not lawyers. Financial planners. Yeah, we're just <laughs> sharing what we From know. our experience. Yeah, our really. experience, and we hope we can help you, but yes, of course, do your research. Uh, that's something we should add to our list, is especially if we get into private lending and stuff, is um, how to vet the people you're gonna lend to. Mm -hmm. So you want 
good borrowers and you want to be a good lender. So I had a discussion with one of our private lenders how to be a good lender because it goes both ways. It's a two-way street. You don't want a lender that... Well, it's a relationship. That's it. Yeah. And that's what matters above all is the relationships, not the money. Of course, yeah, there's money involved and all that, but it's more the relationships. So. Well, it's nice getting to know like all the people that, in, that invest with us and work with us and and see what they're doing in their lives and where their backgrounds are. Yeah. Like some of them have really interesting day jobs or they had interesting day jobs or they just have other things that they know that we have never learned about. No, that's it. And we learn so much through all those people. So it's a great way of forming relationships and win-win solutions. So mm -hmm, absolutely. Yeah, we can't wait to take you on this journey. So that's it till tomorrow. Salud, bonne yes. soirée. Chin -chin. <laughs>